Welcome to Ben TV. My name's Simona Castricum, and with me is Liz Alexander, who's my guest tonight, and we're having a bit of a chat about Tilda, yeah. the uh, tr International Trans Film Festival, which is running in Melbourne in uh, the middle of November. That's right. Um, welcome. Hi. And uh, hi, how are you going? <laughs> Good. We, um, we were talking a little bit about um, the, like, last year's program hmm. and the opening night, yeah. which was a sort of a very kind of... A very hooray for Hollywood kind of um, opening film. It was like this very touch, touchy, feel good, walk away. Oh my God, you can actually live an exciting, successful, you know, kind of very beautiful, you know, boy meets girl trans existence. You know, wow, amazing. Yeah. Anything like that this time, or uh, yeah, well, anything, anything nihilistic or dark that oh, might suit me? Oh, there's a bit of dark. Perhaps? There's definitely a bit of dark. <laughs> so we're opening Great. with a bit of light, a bit of that. It's um, a Canadian film called Two for One. It's a bit of a dramedy, I think they call it, comedy drama. Um, and it's about um, a couple who reunite after a time apart and um, pregnancies and ensuing hilarity and challenges. Um, so that's opening night. So it's got that feel good opening night, light, um, hurrah, happy life, joyfulness to it. Yeah. Um, and we've got a few other films. If you, you know, responding to your question about the the dark and the nihilistic. So closing <laughs> night is a little bit darker. <laughs> it's Great. A, a fantastic I'll film. Be there. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. We'd love to see that. Quick change. It's from uh, the Philippines. So it's set in Mil Mil Manila, and it's about a uh, Dorina who's a trans woman who's in the illegal cosmetic um, industry and she goes about with wielding her needle and um, injecting people's faces to make them more beautiful than really? they can possibly be. Yeah, so it's sort of a lot about image and ageing and femininity and what is it to be a woman and what is it, what do we do, well, the lengths that we go to to be accepted and loved, I guess. Right. Um, and there is, I mean, there's some beautiful parts of that film. She takes her little nine-year-old nephew around with her while she's doing her cosmetic industry business. Um, and they've got a beautiful relationship, but it's also a bit about sort of the dark side of that industry and a dark side of all of our, I uh, guess, wish to, to belong. Right. Yeah, so there's a bit of darkness okay, for Okay, no, you. look, I'll yeah. be, that sounds like my cup yeah. of tea for sure. Yeah. Not really into this sort of, you know, happy ending kind of stuff. Fair you know, enough. But, you know, for a change, <laughs> I suppose. Yeah, well, I'm not going to spoil the ending of either of those. Tell you if you're going to get your You don't come across to me as not. the person who does spoil endings. So, I don't know what that means. No, I don't know but either. Anyway. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, anyway, um, yeah. yeah um, and I guess uh, on the other side of that, um, I'm interested to know about what, I guess, the local contribution is. I mean, mm. we've spoken a lot about inter international films, but... Yeah. Um, um, how are the locals doing? What's the quality? Yeah. What's the quantity? Yeah. Is it, are they getting through? Or? Yeah, well, we got uh, we didn't get heaps of submissions from Australia this year. Most of them, well, all of them, in fact, were shorts from Australia, um, which is great. It was fantastic to have the entries that we did. And because the quality of the films this year was so high, it was really hard to get local content in. Um, but there are a couple of films um, by Australian filmmakers. So one of them is My My. It's a short film by um, Anna Helm. And it's a beautiful little exploration of a, um, a pretty genderqueer, fabulous person who decides to clone themselves. And it's um, a bit of a fantasy. And it's Sounds great. fabulous. Yeah. And we've also got um, a production that Bent TV screened, uh, sorry, filmed especially for Tilda. So last year um, we screened a film called Sister Girls, which was a short yep. uh, doco about two central Arande uh, sister girls. Um, and it was an interview that Bent TV did with them. And that was really well received. And Brie and Rosalina Curtis from that film were guests of the festival last year. And we've been lucky enough for Bent TV and Brie and Rosalina to do another follow-up short film. That's awesome. So Bent TV's interviewed them and they'll be screening that especially for the festival this year. So it's a beautiful um, follow-up film to the first one and it um, talks has the uh, Brie and Rosalina talking about their life as Aboriginal trans women and um, a whole different range of aspects of the challenges and the joys of that. Right. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, and in terms of like, 
um, is, I mean, is is the proportion of, of I guess, involvement of, of trans um, people in these movies. Um, how much? How much is acting? How much is directing? Like, what's I guess the kind of I guess yeah. the technical workflow of, of, oh, of what we're seeing you're behind the scenes. You're asking me about maths again, so. Oh no, I'm not. There's <laughs> nothing mathematical. Well, well, you know, that's just yeah, a no, fancy way joking. of saying, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's lots come of. On. So <laughs> come on. So some of the films are directed by or made by trans filmmakers, and um, so they're not necessarily having trans content, um, and a lot. A lot of the films are made, well, well, at least a proportion of them are made by non-trans filmmakers, but um, as our commitment is about um, having trans consultation, which has been a big part of those films, and there's trans um, actors and actresses playing uh, the roles in most of the films. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm. So there's some inspiring times ahead for oh, some people in the crowd who are going yeah. to be like, oh, I want to yeah. be in a movie. Yeah, well, I think it's pretty important for um, everyone in the community to be able to see people like themselves on the yeah. screen or know that people like themselves do make films and can make films that get screened at festivals um, and beyond. So hopefully there is some inspiration that comes from that. Well, has there been pick up, I guess, from last year and into this year? I mean, obviously you might have had quite a few inquir inquiries and, and I guess discussions with people last year and have they kind of followed through into submissions? Has there been that kind of, I guess, maybe a grassroots kind of, um, you know, inspiration or infiltration of, of, of movies happening or, uh, well, or in I the works even? Yeah, well, I think the um, uh, example of Bent TV, the interview that I yeah. talked about before is one of those. And um, there's some other people that have been talking to us and have submitted um, to each festival. Um, but I think that's something we'd like to do more of in the future is okay. to um, work with community to um, help them uh, produce their own films. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. Well, I think we might leave it there. Okay. Thank you. And uh, thanks for having a chat. No worries. Good to see you again. Yeah, very good. All right. Um, you've been watching Ben TV and we've been talking about Tilda. Um, have a lovely evening.